Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today I wanna to show you how to get a rule to fire only once. So when you have a room, like in my case I have a, a, a motion sensor in my bedroom, that motion sensor will work every time it senses motion. What I wanted to do is I wanted to have this sense motion only once and then turn itself off. Here's how I went about doing that. So I created a new rule um, with a trigger event. Okay, the trigger event is gonna be my master bedroom sensor. And when it becomes active, that's when the rule is going to start happening. The other thing that I had to do is I had to set a condition, okay? And what I used was a private Boolean condition. So that Boolean condition needs to be true in order for this rule to work, okay? So I've defined it that the private Boolean is true. Here's what happens. Once the, um, the there's motion that happens, it turns on the Apple TV that's in my bedroom, okay? At the same time, it also turns off all of these switches, the dining room, the guest room, the hall. These switches aren't necessarily on, but it just kind of goes through and it turns on, or turns off all of those switches just so it's so I save a little bit of electricity because I'm not in those rooms anymore. I'm now in the bedroom for the night. That's when this, this rule happens um, to fire. It's going to activate this scene. This scene just tells the Philips Hue light around my television to turn a certain color and a certain brightness. And then what I also do is I have this, this mode called no bathroom motion. That will turn off the bathroom sensor. Um, the lights in there are really bright. I, I plan on putting in some dimmers there. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Um, but there's enough uh, light with the television and with the lights that are in the bedroom that come on that uh, I don't need the lights in the bathroom at that point. Um, and I'm trying to try to get my eyes to not, not be so sensitive to the light so it's so I get to sleep a little bit easier. So that's how I do do that. And the last thing I do is I set the Boolean value to false. So if you look back up to the top, remember one of our conditions is that the Boolean value needs to be true. After this rule runs, the Boolean value switches to false, which means that because the, the value is now false, the motion sensor will not fire because it is now false, not true, because it has to be true for this to, to fire, okay? So I also have it restricted so that it only works between the hours of 8 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. This way it's flexible, so I can go in at 8.05, 8.07, 8.15, 9.30, it doesn't matter. This rule will only happen once in between those times. Okay, and that is about it. I also have it set so that it's only fires when it's um, in the mode of home. That way, uh, you know, if something were to happen where I'm away and, you know, the dog walks in, it's not going to fire that rule. Not that that makes any difference, but that's how I have it set up. So that is about it. Let's go through and let's um, let's see if we can figure out how to recreate this. rule. Oh, sorry. One more thing. In order for this rule to function again, we actually have to create another rule because remember, we have set this Boolean value to false, okay? So what we need to do is we need to create a new rule, and this is the rule that I created. So what happens is, is at 11.35, it takes the rule that was tr uh, false, and it makes it true. So I have it set so that it's after the event. So if you remember, the event fires from 8 to 11.30, okay? So if I had that rule happen in between this time, that motion sensor would become active again. So I had to make sure that it wasn't going to become active during this time. So I have this rule set so that every day at 11.35, it's going to take the Boolean value and turn it to true. That's it. So let's go through, let's see if we can recreate this, this uh, rule. Um, if you've seen my other video, um, Rule Machine has changed a little bit and I'm not sure I can figure out how to do it, but we'll walk through it together and see if we can create the master pre-bed um, rule that I have with, with the Boolean value and all that sort of stuff. So let's go to Rule Machine. And we're gonna create a new rule. It's going to be a triggered rule, so we're going to do that. And we're just going to call this delete as always. So I remember to delete it. And our trigger event is going to be uh, motion. And the motion sensor will be the master bedroom sensor. 
And when that becomes active, so we're done with our triggered events. Oop, I didn't hit update, sorry. So after you select a, um, a sensor, you have to hit the update button, uh, which I forgot to do. And then we want it so that when it becomes active and then done with this trigger. And then we're gonna go to capability. I believe that's where we set our Boolean value. Yes, private Boolean. Okay, and the private Boolean value we need to be true. So we're gonna be done with this trigger event. And I believe that's all we need to do here. You're done with trigger events. No, that's wrong, sorry. Let's go back to delete event trigger. We don't want that one. And I think we need to convert this to a triggered rule. Yes, convert to the triggered rule. That's what we have to do, okay. I forgot, it's been so long since, since, since I've set up this rule. So now we need to go to our conditions. So our conditions are going to be private Boolean. And we want our private Boolean value to be true. And we can hit done. So now what this says is that when the motion sensor becomes active, the private Boolean value also needs to be true, okay? When both of those conditions are met, we can then go and select actions. So in this case, we are going to control switches. And we are going to turn off switches. And then you can go through and select whatever switches you want. We'll hit update. And then done with this action. Here, if you have other um, things that you need to have done, like you can go in and change a mode, like I do. So I go through, and we're going to look for mode. I'm still not used to this new um, system here, set mode. We're gonna set the mode. And the mode that we do is no bathroom motion. Done with this action. And done with the action. So obviously your actions will be slightly different than mine, but that's how that works. And then I went down to the restrictions tab and we set it so that it only happens in between the hours of eight o'clock uh, p.m. and ending at a specific time. We did 11.30 p.m. And you can, of course, change that to whatever you want. Um, you can do it so it's sunrise and sunset, whatever. Um, but I'm just trying to recreate the rule that I had. So we'll hit done. And the last restriction that I had was set for um, only when the mode is home. And then done with triggered rule. And that's that. So let's go through and let's create the other rule that we needed, which is the rule that switches the Boolean value from false to true. So we're going to create a new rule. And this is defined trigger again. And we're gonna call this delete two, just so I can find them all at the same time. And we did this select trigger event. This is based on time again, so a certain time. I set this to 11.35. Oops. Helps if I'm in the right field. 11.35 p.m. And done. And we're done with this trigger event. And then we're gonna go to done with trigger events. Select actions, and this one's a little bit different. So set private Boolean value, um, we go to there, and we're going to set private Booleans to true. And then you have to go through and find the rule that we created before. So in this case, we call it delete. So each of these rules has its own Boolean value. 
So you need to remember the rule that you created before. So in this case, it was the delete rule. And we are done with this action. So what this says is that, done with actions, when the time is 11.35 p.m., it is going to set the Boolean value to true for this particular rule, the rule called delete, okay? And that's how this works. And then we'll hit done with trigger. And that's it. So what, that, what those rules did is between 8 and 11.30, that rule would become active once there's motion sensed. And then it only fires once because of that Boolean value. Once we finish uh, with 11.35, the, um, the other rule runs to set true for the next day. And that way you are able to have that rule fire again the next day. If this rule only happens once, it's because your Boolean value did not reset. So make sure that you go through and choose that to reset it. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments below. If you like the video, please make sure you like it. If you like what we're doing here, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when new videos go live. Again, we like to do this these new videos. We try to do them every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Um, again, sometimes life gets in the way and we don't get there, but that's what we shoot for. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them, and I will see you next time. Thank you, guys. See ya.